Guys, if you haven't yet, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon and never miss a video from Techo Friendly. So, hello guys, once again welcome to Techo Friendly. So, uh, today I am going to uh, uh, speak, uh, talk about uh, how I fixed or how you can fix uh, broken hinges of your LCD, uh, you know, LCD screen of any laptop of your laptop probably if you have this issue so today i'm going to uh, you know explain you guys what i did uh, when uh, my friends uh, you know laptops uh, hinges broke and uh, when he uh, brought it to me and how i fixed it for free of course guys now uh, i didn't spend a penny on his laptop so uh, without any delay uh, let's get into the video So guys, uh, you know, I will explain to you uh, how hinges are present or the positions of hinges in the laptops, how they are positioned in, in your laptops. So uh, guys, I am going to show you on uh, HP 2000 notebook PC, uh, the model number is 2D50TU. So uh, my friend brought this laptop uh, to me. Uh, uh, one year ago and uh, what the problem uh, with his laptop was whenever he uh, you know turned on his laptop uh, the it uh, his when, whenever his the lap uh, fan of his laptop started so uh, loud voice like crackling voice was coming out of this uh, ventilation uh, you know uh, slot and uh, after that crackling sound after some time smoke was coming through this you know slot so what uh, actually happened to his laptop was that the hinge uh, or the met uh, plastic hinges or the screws over this side of his laptop broke all right guys so uh, how the hinges are present in uh, most of the laptops is like uh, on this two side as you know these two uh, as you can see is a plastic clip so inside the, uh, this clip the um, there is a metal plate that's, uh, that associates this met this entire lid to your base to your laptop's base so that metal plate over here is a bit longer because there is space uh, to uh, you know uh, there is enough space for that metal plate uh, to uh, to be sufficiently long here but uh, in, in here guys as you know uh, the, um, the fan that uh, you know pumps out the hot air or the cpu cooler is present over here in most of the laptops in uh, most of the models that i have seen uh, now uh, maybe after 2016 or 15 uh, the companies like started to uh, you know uh, make a little bit uh, difference in their models due to this issue so many of the guys have this issue so what happens here is that to make space for this uh, cpu cooler or the fan uh, the metal plate or metal plate over here that associates the lid to the base is really small all right so uh, and there is only three hinges present over here and uh, uh, on the other hand there is uh, like up to four hints present over here so what happens is uh, as the metal plate that uh, is uh, you know that is uh, connected or jointed to the base here is so small so the situation gets really congested and all the pressure that now this plate as it is large it can handle uh, any type of force or pressure that you give to your lid while opening and closing it now what happens here is now uh, now that the plate here is really small the pressure that uh, if you put a bit more pressure or uh, if sometimes if you close your lid like in a hurry what happens is the hinges the plastic hinges over that uh, that is connected that or that you know uh, uh, the hinge i mean uh, by hinge i mean screws plastic screws that is uh, like uh, connected that connects the metal plate or that joins the metal plate to the base uh, th that hinges bro uh, breaks all right those hinges are really small and are made of plastic so if you put a uh, a bit 
you know uh, more pressure to, uh, to your lid uh, it breaks easily so now that's one of the reason how it breaks and the second reason for that is uh, as you know the cpu cooler cooler is present over here so whatever you know uh, uh, hot air is present uh, inside this base of your laptop are pumped uh, pumped outside to uh, outside of your laptop uh, through this cpu cooler to this side all right so that all that hot air whenever when that passes over here it passes over that metal plate through through those plastic hinges as you guys know uh, as you guys know that plastic melts uh, with uh, heat or hot air uh, what what happens is the hinges over here uh, becomes weak all right so uh, by uh, you know after which it breaks easily uh, first of all the metal plate over there is really small and the situation is really congested on the other hand uh, the uh, due to the hot air the hinges uh, becomes uh, you know really weak and it breaks really uh, you know uh, really it breaks easily all right so now the fix that whenever you take your laptop after your hinge breaks or uh, you know that hinge uh, now what happened to my friend's laptop was that here the hinge his laptop's hinge over here broke and the broken particles of that hinge you know came into this fan so the, those particles got stuck into this fan and it started you know uh, it started making friction when the fan rotated it started making friction with this uh, fan over here and that made cr a crackling sound and due to that friction uh, smoke uh, started coming out through this fan all right so now the fix uh, whenever you takes your laptop to a service center the fix that uh, they recommends to you guys is like fabrication and uh, the second fix that uh, they recommends is uh, base disclosure now i will explain to you guys what happens in fabrication now in fabrication now this you know uh, that screws are connected to your base uh, like uh, with uh, slots like hinges uh, now uh, that hinges are molded into your base of your laptop all right so i will show you guys what happened to my uh, friend's laptop so uh, here it is guys his lap these are the uh, this is the metal plate on this uh, left side of his laptop and uh, this is what happened uh, the hinges over here the three inches over here broke and this is what happened to his laptop so you know in fabrication now you can't uh, you know like uh, uh, put that hinges back on or like uh, uh, with screwdriver or something because those hinges are uh, those metal plate uh, th those hinges passes through those metal plate into slots that are molded into your base of your laptop all right guys i'm trying to make it as simple as possible so they can't be put back that easily so what they do is in fabrication they use some sort of super glue and affixes that screws or that hinges onto your base and uh, and you know as, uh, fixes your metal plate to your base now what happens after this is there is no, really no guarantee uh, if that will uh, if that will be stable or not because uh, now they are using a glue all right so again uh, you know hot air is going to pass so is going to be is going to pass over that region and uh, maybe in the future that glue gets weak or that uh, you know uh, 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 that fix that so durability of that glue is uh, there is no guarantee for that durability it may get weak and may break again so and also this fabrication process is a bit expensive uh, it's about uh, about 80 to 100 dollars if you uh, if you take it to a service center to do a fabrication and uh, it's like 5000 rupees uh, in indian rupees and uh, like i said the second fix is uh, base disclosure and uh, while doing base base disclosure what they do is they changes the center base i'll show you guys what they do is they change this whole entire base all right plastic base and you know uh, 
they fit or uh, they assemble a new base uh, of this of this model all right uh, that's of of your computer's model and uh, that base you know guys if uh, if you take to some sort of service center they will charge you up to uh, like 155 to 200 dollars all right so uh, that cost that much rupees and uh, that much uh, money and uh, uh, plus they will take their service charge so both these fixes that you uh, that uh, you uh, whenever you take to service center they are going to do uh, in both the cases uh, it's a bit expensive and uh, in case guys if you don't want to spend that much of money on the laptop if you have like uh, an uh, a desktop and you uh, like do all your stuff gaming and all that kind of thing on that desktop and you don't want to like spend this mon much money on laptop uh, or if you are going to purchase a new laptop uh, soon and you don't have to spend this much on your laptop so what i did uh, it's one year since I fixed this laptop and still his laptop is running very much smoothly and uh, working very much uh, very nicely so what I did was I just like laminated his laptop I'll show you guys theoretically the fix to this uh, issue is to make uh, this side of your laptop intact all right whenever uh, after this hinges get uh, broken uh, whenever you opens your la laptop's lid what happens is this metal plate uh, start starts hitting your motherboard all right whenever that hits to your motherboard uh, as you know that metal plate uh, metal plate is metal and whenever it, it hits your motherboard it's going to uh, create a short circuit and uh, if uh, when if it, if if in case if any short circuit happened to your motherboard your motherboard is gonna get wrecked and uh, as you know it, it's it gonna cost even more uh, than that hinges if something like that happened so what you have to do is you have to make this part of your laptop or uh, this area intact so that whenever you open and closes your lid it won't give that much pressure to this part uh, to this uh, to the metal plate over here and it won't uh, hit the upper part or the mother motherboard all right so what i did is did was i laminated his laptop entirely with glass sheet uh, uh, all right so you can as you can see this glass sheet uh, are available in available with all stationary stores yeah, you can do this at your home uh, all right so i i uh, you know stick stick that glass sheet using cello tap this uh, transparent ta tap uh, you know tape or whatever you call it this is also available with uh, all the stationery you can get it easily at very cheap cost and what i did was i stick uh, that glass sheet i uh, very tightly and to his back side sparing this area all right sparing this uh, you know uh, ventilation slot uh, there are two ventilation sort uh, like back this uh, left side one and uh, one at the bottom of your laptop and uh, I spared this uh, HDD uh, battery ba battery part so that he can remove and uh, uh, put back on his uh, battery whenever he want uh, I also like spared all, uh, this entire portion including HDD and RAM alright so what now this was an efficient uh, really effective solution because it's since one year i fixed this laptop till now his laptop is running smoothly and uh, uh, like uh, uh, there is no issue with his laptop i fixed it, uh, he brought his laptop me uh, to me like uh, in april uh, april 2016 and it's june 2017 right now guys i wanted to make this video uh, since two months but I got his laptop now so I am showing, showing you guys how I did it you just have to spare all the parts like all uh, USB uh, slots and uh, you know optical drive and uh, all those slots and you just uh, laminate your laptop like you uh, laminate your laptop such that this base of your laptop is uh, tight uh, and intact all right so 
now guys uh, one another benefit of uh, doing this is that uh, many of you guys i know many of you guys may be using a rubber sheet to cover this keyboard of your laptop uh, all right so that uh, no uh, dust goes into uh, in between your keys and your keys don't just uh, there is no pressure more pressure applied to your keys so use you use a rubber sheet to protect your keyboard now after doing this you don't have to do that uh, as you can see guys this entire part is covered and no dust is going to get inside this because it's all covered from uh, uh, from all four sides with cello tape i sticked it with cello tape uh, so that it's transparent and it uh, don't uh, you know spoil the look and uh, you know uh, like that of your laptop so no dust is going to get inside your laptop by doing this and also you can uh, uh, no much pressure is going to be uh, applied on your keys whenever you press them all right although it, it's going to be a bit harder to press the keys at the start but uh, as uh, the time goes on the sheet will become a a bit smoother after you clear uses your keyboard uh, for an, uh, you know like many times also you can use external uh, keyboard and mouse i know many of you guys uh, use uh, like external keyboard and mouse with your uh, laptop as much as possible so this was how i fixed uh, broken you know hinges of lcd screen of my uh, friend's laptop and it's one year his uh, laptop is running very smoothly i'll show you i'll start the system and i'll show you so that's that's it guys as you can see his uh, laptop is running very smoothly so that's it guys that's how you can fix this issue without spending that much of money because uh, if uh, your hinges uh, breaks and uh, uh, there are only two solution as i mentioned to you uh, one is fabrication and second is base disclosure both these so solutions are going to cost you like uh, uh, 100 to 200 dollars and if you don't like to waste that much of money on your laptop uh, you can do this uh, uh, do this solution or you can apply this solution uh, so what i did was i did this and i upgraded uh, i do, did a servicing of his laptop minimum like uh, normal servicing like heating and blowing and uh, i also did a ram upgradation of his laptop from 4 gb to 8 gb so now his laptop is running very much smoothly guys now he is going to use this laptop for like two more years i don't know his laptop is already five years old so like two more years and uh, i i guarantee you that it this solution is gonna last at least for three to four years guys you don't have to do anything all right you don't have to do fabrication or you even if you do, uh, don't do a servicing it's okay this this thing is gonna last for three years i guarantee you so this is guys now this video was a bit long uh, I, I don't know if you guys understood what uh, I, you know, I was talking about, but uh, I tried to make things simp as simple as much as possible. So if you guys like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like my video, give me a thumbs down. And uh, guys, if you have any, uh, you know, any doubt of, or if you guys didn't understand what I told or what I actually did to my, to his laptop, uh, you can ask me anything, any doubts regarding uh, this in the comment section below. Also, guys, if you have any other issues with your laptop, maybe uh, maybe uh, hardware or software, anything, anything you can ask me in the comment section below. I will respond to you guys. And uh, also check out uh, the content of my channel. And if you like uh, my content, subscribe to me and also share this video to all your friends. Uh, all those friends who have this uh, same issue uh, all right so that's it guys that's it for today uh, see you guys in my next video till then take care bye bye